What is going on, gang lang We are back with another tier list, and this time around, we're going to be doing a fingers tier list. Isn't that quite fun? I get to rank every single fingy that we have on our hands, and oh boy, howdy. Let me tell you that different fingers are good for different things, if you're all catching my drift. Joe, I don't think they are because I don't even know what the hell you're blabbering about. I'm just saying that, you know, there's a lot you can do with some fingers. A whole lot you can do with them. Like uh, some real nice stuff that you can do, but might be considered gross to others. If it's what I think it is, I don't want to hear it, Joe, because I swear to God, you don't seem to care if YouTube flags our videos for being inappropriate. I don't do it for the views. I do it for the love of the game. But you didn't even let me say what I was going to say. Obviously, I was talking about licking your fingers after eating some chips. Some people think it's gross, but if you ask me, eating some chips and then having all that dust collect on your fingertip is just amazing. Or if you get your hand deep enough in the bag, your knuckles get all dusty and you got to lick the powder off those as well. See, I do that, but I also just open the bag all the way so it's like completely spread out and I can get that same finger I licked and just trace it along the bag, collecting every single morsel of flavoring from the bag and just going buck wild with it. I don't even do it with my finger. I just get my big old Joe tongue out and just lick it up and down like I'm doing ass to mouth. Okay, well that last part was gross. I am still somewhat in shock that you didn't say anything gross and just for that Joe, I have to give you some props. Come on, man, you gotta have some more faith in the Joester. Like, I don't say gross and nasty things on purpose, it's just a part of my personality. And you just gotta deal with it. Like me and Donald put up with the fact that you're a furry, but you don't hear us say anything mean about you. You two quite literally only say mean things about me being a furry, and if it's not that, then you guys instead choose to talk about how my tier lists suck or how I am a boring person with no personality. And if it's none of those things, well, then you two talk about what I did to the Middle East as if Joe wasn't my vice president at the time. Yeah, but what do vice presidents even do? How are you going to blame Joe for all that? I'm not blaming him. I'm just saying that if you guys are going to give me flack for it, well, then you should throw some at Joe, too. So you into bullying old men now, Barack? What have I done, man? All I did was play Nintendo Wii and eat ice cream all day and occasionally go out to these boring press conferences with you? Well, at least my old clone did all of that and I artificially inherited all of his memories and I don't even know what iteration of Joe Biden we're on now. I shudder to think how replaceable I've become all without anyone in the world knowing that I have died and been replaced dozens upon dozens of times, and I'm forced to live out this never-ending existence of misery and pain, but at least they give me Coke and ice cream, and I ain't talking about the soda. Wait, what, uh, what the hell is Joe talking about Barack? Oh, you know Joe. He's always going on about his funny jokes and stuff. Ahem. Testen Sie Z95D. Verringern Sie das Erinnerungsvermögen der Vergangenheit um 35% und die Persönlichkeit um 10%. Ja, mein Führer, ich habe den Speicher meiner Vergangenheit um 35 Prozent und meine Persönlichkeit um 10 Prozent reduziert. Sorry about that, everyone. I just had a little cough, and that's why I sounded so strange. Well, I don't know what Joe said, but let's go ahead and get this list started. Uh, my head hurts, but then again, when doesn't it hurt? I need that eight ball of the good stuff and stat, but uh, yeah, I can do a, a fingers tier list, I guess. Didn't know we had that on the board for today. Okay, what the hell just happened? Barack, what did you do to Joe? You clearly did something to alter his memory. And it wasn't like when I knew those phrases to change his language settings back in the mental illness tier list. Are you hiding some more stuff about Joe from me? What? Me? I would never, Donald. I would never keep secrets from you, man. And you must have been imagining the whole thing because I just had a cough and Joe must have had an itchy throat or something. Stop trying to gaslight me, man. I know something funny is happening and I won't stop till I get to the bottom of it. Donald, come on now. How could I ever be gaslighting someone as smart and buff as you? Like, aren't you one of the smartest people on planet Earth? You're too smart to be gaslit, Donald. You'd have me figured out in a second because haven't people said that your IQ exceeds that of an average human? Well, I have been told that I make the common man look like a nincompoop when they're put up against my mind. And like you said, I am a very buff man and I can even bench four plates at the gym. And that's 225 pounds, brother. Wow, two plates. Way to go, man. That's not at all weak and unimpressive considering you weigh more than the four plates you're benching. But yeah, oh my God, Donald, you are amazing. Can you tell me more about how you get your hair looking so good? 
I swear, me and Joe always wonder how you get it looking so perfect every single time. See, I'm glad you asked this because the trick is to get out the shower and dry your hair, but not completely. You want a little moisture on there, and then you get some Layrite Natural Matte Cream and put some all over your hands and texture your hair and get it looking how you want it to look. And naturally, it'll look as amazing as my hair does. And my other secret trick is that every other day, I use some leave-in conditioner, and every other week, I use a concoction of oils like coconut oil, argan oil, and avocado oil, and I let that marinate in my hair so that it can help my scalp and make my roots healthier. Now, that's an amazing hair care routine if you ask little old Joe. I just spit on my hands and just let it fly. And that's why your hair looks absolutely awful, Joe. And why the hell haven't we started this list? Joe, what the hell are you doing, you absolute idiot? Go and start it and stop wasting our time. Yeah, Joe, why don't you start the list, buddy? Uh, yeah, I guess, well, uh, starting the list off, we got the index finger, also known as the forefinger, pointer finger, and I call it the poking finger. This is an auto S tier because I use this for pointing at stuff, pressing buttons, but most importantly, I use this to pick my nose and God damn it, do be satisfying. Valid as hell, Joe. This had to be an S tier purely for the nose picking aspect of it. You know I got you, Donald. I was gonna add that this is also used to poke dead stuff and the index finger is an absolutely essential finger for a ditty party, but I didn't wanna make the video too freaky. I held back on that comment for whatever weird reason. I just felt like it wasn't appropriate. But anywho, back onto the list at hand and after the pointer finger, we now have the pinky up next. Now listen, the pinky is probably one of the fingers people would cut off most if they were asked to sacrifice a finger. But in all actuality, I have this bad boy going straight into B tier. See, it isn't amazing, but I do think that it is underrated. Like when you rest your phone on your hand, the pinky is always at the bottom, supporting it like the silent hero that it is. That being said, I mean, I'd probably definitely survive without a pinky, but I wouldn't be all that happy about it. Joe, I don't think a single soul would be happy about losing a finger. That's not exactly something that someone loses and goes, well, thank God that's out of the way. Yeah, and if people lose a pinky, then they won't be able to be fancy like when SpongeBob goes in Sandy's dome for the first time and he was holding his pinky up the whole time and God damn, did that look fancy. I love me that sponge so much. But yeah, moving past that, we now have the middle finger. And let me just point out that this arrangement is weird. It's not even left to right or right to left. It's just randomly put together. But uh, I actually think I like that. But yeah, back onto the middle finger. Now this is the no-no finger and it is very naughty and is mean. And normally I'd place it low. But considering that this is an important finger for stability when holding stuff and how you can also point and pick with it, well, I gotta give this bad boy an S tier Joe, you really shouldn't be pointing with your middle finger. You're gonna give people the wrong idea. Joe, don't listen to him. You're not giving anyone the wrong idea. And I actually think you should be using that finger more. Well, now, if I have Donald telling me that I should use it more, well, shucks, I guess I have to use it more. But yeah, now moving on to our second to last entry, and we now have the ring finger. And listen, I bet everyone was talking mad trash about the pinky, but guess what, guys? I'm gonna disrespect the ring finger more because I have this going into C tier. Like, what is even good about this finger? Like, you can show off that you're married, and that's lame in itself, but then if you really dive into the cold, hard facts, you realize something about the ring finger, you realize how absolutely useless it is because you can literally operate perfectly fine without it. Like, go ahead and try it out yourselves. Uh, Go grab your phone and hold it without the ring finger. You'll realize it really isn't needed. And the same thing can apply to remotes, glasses, water, like you name it, and it won't need the ring finger. Go ahead and hate me because you all know that I'm secretly right. I am a part of the pinky supremacy group. Joe, that is absolutely stupid, bro. I don't know how the hell you can even think that a pinky is more important than a ring finger. One day you will all see the light. Joe will point, haha, <laughs> get it? But yeah, I will point you all to the right direction. But anyways, finishing off this list, we have the thumb and we all know where this is going. Uh, I have to place this into S tier and there's no other way I would have it. There are so many uses for the thumb, like hitchhiking, giving thumbs ups, texting, sucking, and so much more. Uh, hold on, let's pause for a moment. Now, did you just say that you use the thumb for sucking? I did, uh, what are you gonna do about it? Damn, he's calling you out, Barack. What are you gonna do about it? You gonna sit there and take it, or are you gonna man up, bro? Well, uh, I won't be doing anything, I guess. That's what I thought, pussy. 